So the Galaxy S4 going up against the HTC One. Is HTC sweating? Do they have a reason to be nervous? Well, we're going to compare them right now. Let's take a look. The big difference between these two devices is choice of materials. We've got metal on the HTC One. We've got plastic on the Galaxy S4. The Galaxy S4 definitely feels thinner in the hand, although what HTC does is kind of a trick here. We've got a thinner edge, which is thinner than this edge, then it's a little bit thicker as it goes back, but it feels very thin. Uh, when you pick up the HTC One, it's cold in your hand. It's that metal construction that feels very unique. And on the, on the Galaxy S4, it's kind of what you would, would expect with a Galaxy S3. So it's really up to you to determine, do you want a metal phone? Do you want a plastic phone? One's definitely lighter than the other with the Galaxy S4 being lighter. Now we've got a larger screen here, 5 inches on the uh, Galaxy S4, 4.7 inches on the HTC One. What I like about the Galaxy S4 here is that the bezels are just so thin. We kind of have an Xperia ZL kind of uh, big screen to facade ratio, if that's an official term. Inside the Galaxy S4, this version, unconfirmed, but what we think is the octa-core processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. On the HTC One, we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 quad-core with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Let's turn these puppies on and see which looks better. They are both at maximum screen brightness. We get that characteristic, characteristic is that a word? Really dark black here. Um, on the Galaxy S4, but to be honest, the HTC One's keeping up really good, really well. That's not right. Keeping up very well with its LCD technology over the AMOLED. Um, something that the Galaxy S4 has that the HTC does not have is a dynamic feature that allows the screen to adjust contrast and color based on whatever app you're in. Now, of course, one of the big things that make these devices different is the camera. We've got a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera on the HTC One, which claims to take in a lot more light. Interestingly, Samsung didn't talk that much about the camera itself, the 13 megapixel shooter on the Galaxy S4. They were emphasizing more so all of the camera features, all of the ways that you can do things that kind of the HTC One introduced, like a Zoe-like feature that adds uh, a little bit of sound to, to a video and some other ways to capture images uh, quickly. Just realized we had power save on, on the, uh, the HTC One, which dimmed the screen, so now that we have uh, it at true maximum screen brightness, let's go into an application uh, where there is white space. So we can kind of take a look at the difference. Uh, LCD gives you a brighter white, but AMOLED gives you a darker black, so it all kind of matters on what you're looking for in terms of screen quality. And Samsung has added a lot of auxiliary features, like a smart stay variant called, what's it called? Auto scroll. Super smart stay. Super smart space. Some, some. Auto scroll. Something that will follow your eyes as you move down the page. The HTC One just doesn't do that. So overall, uh, I think these devices are really going to go head to head. I think a lot of people were scared. I think HTC was scared. The Galaxy S4 would blow it out of the water uh, with the Galaxy S4. But you know, these are going to be very, very strong contenders. They're very different phones, and I think that's why people will have a tough time deciding between them. We're going to have a, a much more deeper comparison than this quick video coming up in the weeks ahead at Pocket Now. Just a look at the Galaxy S4 versus the HTC One.